and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven, and I have finished this mask from Fan Cells um, that I got with the B attached. So I thought I'd show you what that looks like. Um, I also want to seal it and see what this sealer that I use is like on material. I also um, want to seal this key ring. Um, that I got from Melissa, just round the edges on the key ring because it is a square diamond. So it's just to make sure that there's no extra glue around the edge that could pick anything up. And also I need to put my diamonds away from doing my B. But I thought we'll see what this is like and how it goes on. But with this sealer, every time I've used it on anything else, I do just, in effect, just plaster it on. I've not found that it, you know, leaves any marks or anything. It dries clear. I've still found that I can see the shininess of the diamonds once it's dried. I do wonder how it will go on the material. So I don't want to go too much as she says, as she does, um, too much onto the material because, of course, it still needs to be somewhat breathable. But I thought this would be a nice decorative mask to wear over, you know, maybe more of a, either a washable or a disposable type mask. And this can just be the one that makes it look a little bit nicer. So I've given that a good coating. It is all white. And we'll see how that dries. I'll come back and see how it's gone. Now for this one, um, I say this is a square key ring. So I don't have to worry about any potential glue being in the middle of the diamonds because it's covered by diamonds but I do want to make sure that all the edges are covered because I don't want it picking up bits of fluff it has been on the handbag but I don't tend to go out so this is in preparation for when I get to go out the house and I'm using my handbag more and I think I'm going to try and do both sides at once which is a benefit to being able to hold it in the middle where the square diamonds are. It means that I only have to wash my brush once rather than waiting for it to dry and then doing it again. But I thought it's been a while since I've sealed anything on camera. Um, and some people, you know, can be a little bit cautious and I think it does depend on what glue you do use or what sealer you use. But I found with this sealer, which I will pop the link um, below, it will be the link to my website for my favourite items, um, and you'll see the sealer there. I found with this, which has got, it's very similar to sort of PVA glue or Elmer's glue, I've not found I have any problem with it using it straight out of the pot. Straight out the pot, straight onto my project and it dries clear and the diamonds are still shiny especially where they need to be especially with the crystal ones which is the main projects that I do tend to seal is the off the canvas items I don't tend to seal my paintings um, I've not found the need to I've not found that I lose any diamonds or anything like that, so I've just missed that step. Missed that step while I can. Okay, so that is gone round the edges now of that as well. I'll probably end up getting some glue on my desk, but it's anything like PVA glue. It'll give me something to peel later. It's coming off my hands similar to PVA glue. Um, and then I do need to put away the diamonds from doing the B. 
So my special diamonds are stored in this photo box. It's like half the size of a normal photo box. Um, and I think I got this from, I got it from the US. I think it was from Staples in the US. They had it in half a size. So black is one that I need to put away. And I'm just checking if they have the silver back or not. I have two packets in with my blacks. One has a silver back, one doesn't. So really the one that doesn't is just 310. It's exactly the same. But because when I'm kitting a special, or de-kitting, sorry, a special diamond painting, I tend to just have a bag of them in with my specials as well. So I've got a bag with no silver back and a back bag with silver backs. And I keep a bag in there as well, because then when I'm de-kitting, it's all going to the same place. And then for yellow, quite an easy one to de-kit this with because, so I've got different shapes and sizes of yellows. I've got more of a golden yellow, a pale yellow, and then I've got gold. So that is that yellow, that is a pale yellow, and that is a different shape. So the golds can go back. And all I've done is I've tipped out, um, because it's only one little, apart from the fact that they're falling everywhere, um, because it's only a one-sided, so this mask was only a one-sided item, all I did was, I did one colour at a time. So I tipped out a load into my tray and then I just folded up the packet that they came in and popped it into a little grip seal bag with any that were left in my tray as well. And I thought this might be the easiest way to do it, but I've pinged these yellow ones everywhere. Luckily, I can pick them up with a finger. We'll tip out the ones that were loose in the bag and then those bags will get they're the ever moment bags i'll just reuse those so that's that one these are the ones that we used on the flowers Ooh. and it looks like all i had left what was in the packet i must have actually tipped the right amount into my tray doesn't happen very often but when it does it's a good thing okay I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get my big tray only because because I've folded these packets they don't like to come out easily because of course the packet's been folded and then folded again so it, everything's tucking itself into the creases I just get them to tip out into the big tray and then I can quite easily get them into the baggie. And there is loads and loads of different types of yellow ones in there. But if I ever have a project where I'm short, I'll just tip them into a big tray and fish out the ones that I want. So that's those done. And then the pale yellow. And that quite simply is it. It had four different diamonds. It was very quick to do, but it was also nice to do. Um, I like to vary it up with the quick projects and the non-quick. And that's the special diamonds from that one all put away. Um, what I will do is I will, of course, stop filming now. I'll go make myself um, a brew because that's always a good option to to spend my time <coughs> excuse me I'll go and make myself a drink and I'll give this chance to dry I'm just checking I've not actually got something caught in the glue wouldn't be helpful to uh, have something permanently resting there I'm going to let that all dry and I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like dried so that you can still see the colour and stuff on the diamonds before I sign off for this video. So speak to you all in a bit. 
So it's been a couple of hours and they've all dried now. So just to show you sort of closer up, you can see a bit where I've had the glue, but from a distance, you can't. Um, so I'm happy with that. And it's all dried clear. It's not sticky. It'll all move about, which is what you want. And I've also done, of course, the edges of my little minions. And if you have a look, considering I only did round the edges and caught the diamonds on the edges, you still, as much as you can under these lights, get to see the sparkle. Um, I haven't found that it does the sparkle at all. You can still see the sparkle in these, even though it's been coated with sealer. So I will pop a link to our favourites. This is under tools. Um, a few different things that I use in videos that I like, but I will pop a link to that down below. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.